What's happening, working pandas? Peter Von Panda here. You know, I like to be out in my garage working on the Prowler or the Fiat, both uh, exotic cars. Uh, this uh, LE Lighting Ever Work Light is something that I thought I might be able to use, not only just for working, but you know, there's times when I am shooting video that, uh, or filming, as we see in the biz, uh, that requires some lights and I don't always have my umbrella lights with me and something like this I thought well maybe I could use this too not only just as a work light but as you know an auxiliary light for you know um, filming some stuff that's interesting too now first thing I want to show you is that this fell out here and it was in a little bit black bag the plastic bag and so this is a like a thumb tightening screw I guess this is gonna go right here and I'm kind of thinking that looks like your standard quarter inch screw for attaching to a tripod but I feel like this could go in there. And it certainly seems like it works. So I'm not sure why, but, because I probably would just use this as a kickstand for most most of the time. But man, first of all, let me just show you what this LE looks like right out of the box. It's actually really cool looking, especially for an LED work light. Um, it's got this metal housing. This, this gray part is like metal and it's got a really nice design on it. And then we have some plastic bumpers here that will protect the lens. That lens won't, even if you put it face down, say on concrete, you're not gonna get that lens touching. The machine housing around it, and as you can see there, if I get into it really, you can see those little LED elements in there. So we've got a bunch of them. Man, uh, not even totally sure how many. Wonder if it says. Doesn't say right up there, but we'll find out. Um, does run on the 18650 battery and is IP64 water resistant. Now, if I flip it over to the back here and we kind of just took a peek, you can see it's got this handle that kind of ratchets into place. Uh, goes all the way to the front, as you can see. So uh, in most cases, I'd probably use it like this. I, that means I can also get it vertical and actually pointing down if you wanted to shine it down on something. And obviously a lot of height on it. So you get this nice little plastic handle you also have um, these little plastic bumpers extending above the back here so you don't have to worry about scratching that up. And then what we have here too is a USB plug built in that wraps around the center hub. So now I can charge this sucker up and I always have the cord to charge it up. That's pretty clever, pretty clever. And it fits right back in there, man. That's nice, so I don't actually have to worry. A lot of these work lights, I will tell you, every one I've had before comes with its own charging brick, you know, and, you know, proprietary or kind of old school single prong recharging plug. This is beautiful, brilliant, I love that. Um, I'm sold on that. And what you can see here is we also have a micro USB in, so if you have that cable, which everyone usually does, looks like you could charge it there, and then a USB port there for charging out. So this thing will work like a power bank uh, as well and we have a power button right there and I think that shows you the status of the power bank those four LED lights 100% they're marked right here you can see that 25 50 75 and then if I hold this button down or tap it again it looks like and then we can scroll through the light levels okay so turn it on to test it and then man we can see here we get a lot of projection and then if I tap it we scroll through the levels so it looks like there's four, if I'm correct. A bright, middle, and then, oh. And then just a flashing. So let me go through it on this side too. <laughs> wow. Um, so this is what I would say is probably, it's not doing SOS and it's not doing a flash fl or a fast strobe, it's doing a very slow strobe. So I'd say this is probably good for a disabled car. Now I'm gonna switch that off because that's probably gonna make you sick. But uh, let me go back, man, that's, that's bright. That's pretty bright. And as you can see, I mean, I've got a two foot wide circle and I'm holding the, <laughs> the spotlight uh, eight inches off the table. So this is going to produce a wide, wide pattern. And if I hit it again, now we're on a little lower level. Ooh, and it's uh, right at the same frequency as my camera. And then back to strobe. So I'm going to put it on the bright setting here. Man, that is crazy. That is crazy. Um, it's even hard to see the camera because it's so bright. So um, I'm gonna turn it off here. Now, uh, I wanna do a couple things here. I wanna take this out to the garage, see what it's like you know, working uh, on my car, and then we'll also take it out into the pitch black here outside and just see what it does You know, if you were to use this like camping or outdoors or as a spotlight or lighting up an event on your patio, what have you. So let's try it both places. 
All right guys, so out here in my garage, and as you can see, my garage is pretty well lit, right? So I've got the lights on, um, got, my, got my whips out, and the lighting in the garage isn't always the problem. It's when you start working on cars, and you got this little thing here, your bonnet, or your hood up, you know, everything here becomes a little dark, and this is my engine in a pretty well-lit garage, right? And so it's really hard to kind of see things from fluids to what what have you. So I have this. Now, I just want to say, uh, you know, there's nothing magnetic about it. So some, some work lights have magnets in the back, uh, or in the back or the bottom so that you can attach them to your hood or to a fender or something like that So this doesn't have that but uh, I'm just gonna hit the light here and turn it on and boom look at that It's like daylight under the hood of my car now. That is Crazy, I mean shouldn't be that crazy, but it's I mean if you if I Shine the light out there. You can see how bright this sucker is right, but man for working under the hood of my car uh, this thing is Phenomenal! Man, that, that is awesome. And let's just go to the next mode here, if I can do it one-handed. This is the lower light level, and as you can see, man, that is just, again, a wicked amount of light. Man, this engine is dirty. I'm gonna have to replace the car, I guess. And then obviously strobe. All right, so I told you, we weren't gonna just try it out in the car. We are gonna try it outside to see if uh, this thing could work for other purposes too. All right, guys, out here in the darkness, and it is pitch black. I mean, there isn't even really any moon tonight, per se. So I'm kind of standing. I've got a little bit of ambient light leaking out of the windows out of my house, but I just want to turn on the light here. And it's obviously going to jump to the high, as it always does. But, man, look at that, right? I mean, look how bright this is. And and I guess the best thing about this is because it is a work light, what you can see is where the, the pattern stops on either side. I'm not moving the light at all. But just in front of me, you know, by holding this thing right here, you can see how wide this is. And the thing is, we don't get a lot of light fall off around the edges. It's very bright all the way right up to the edges. I mean, even then, you're getting a little light bleed onto some of these other things so I can see them. But that means you're just going to get nice, even light across anything you're illuminating. Now, what you can see up here is that it's got the tree lit, too, as well as right in front of the light. And so you just have this huge, like, spotlight pattern where you have a lot of even light. And this could absolutely work for kind of lighting up your patio. Let me just show you. If I were sitting out here and chilling with people, you know, I could have this whole thing lit up like a spotlight, like it's a sports game. And if I go to the next level here, uh, hard to see which button is which. Um, okay, this is the lower light level. And again, really, really bright, right? Look at that. Awesome. And then if I go to the strobe, we're gonna signal aliens to land here. So I don't wanna do that too much. But man, this is awesome. Uh, you know, whether it's just a work light you need or a really compact, you know, thin, you can see how thin and light this sucker is, you know, for a wide pattern light that should last a long time and be easy to recharge. I would definitely check this out. I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely in love with this thing. I will put a link to it in the description, but this is my new work light, new spotlight. It's coming with me everywhere. Peter Ron Panda, out.